But as you guys know, so many games come out every single day on Roblox and so many of them are being played every single day by a bunch of users. And these games are usually made by these professional teams that know how to code, know how to make stuff in studio and basically just know the whole process of creating games. But what if I told you that in the recent times, we have gotten something that's pretty, pretty cool that I wanted to take a look at, which basically allows you to make games without actually knowing how to code. It's no secret that some of these big games do use AI for their whole game creation process, but they do know how to code. And using software is kind of underrated for making games though, but you do need to know how to code and modify the code that you're given, especially in the AI prompts like ChatGPT. And it's just not visually appealing if you don't know coding. And honestly, this just looks too overwhelming, especially for people who want to make games really badly, but you know, they have no idea how to code. So I did wanna show you guys something that I found recently, which is pretty cool and it's only a demo, but it's actually very, very nice. And I think it has a lot of potential especially when they develop it further and you know make this a bit bigger since right now you know you only have chat gpt or stuff like that or maybe some uh stuff like deep ki to use for coding these games but this thing is called astrocade and you really don't have to use any coding and it's very cool because it is basically all chat prompts like you would do with chat gpt but there is no code you're actually making the whole game through chat prompts and as you can see there's a bunch of games they have right here it's kind of like a, I don't know a template right here and you can actually create your own game by basically just doing these so-called wishes right it's basically similar to a chat prompt but you're just telling them what to make and it's pretty cool we can go ahead and go into create your own game right now it's gonna pop us up right here where we can just basically go ahead and create our own wish. So it says a fruit slashing game with fruit cannon and a trampoline. Let's just click wish and see what this does, bro. I'm honestly, I'm honestly pretty curious to see what this is. Um, yeah, there you go. As you guys can see, it's going to prompt us up with a chat right here and I can just basically tell it. So I told it a fruit slashing game with a fruit cannon and a trampoline. And it's just basically gonna analyze what we just said. Um, it is very, very exciting and promising for the future of maybe even Roblox or, you know, any new platform like this that goes out. So as you guys can see, it basically created all of these. So I can basically click and move these actually, and I can go ahead and put a trampoline right there. I can go ahead and put the katana right here, score right here. Boom, there we go. I literally sliced the apple. Oh, now this one went a bit further. There we go. And as you can see, it keeps track of your score. And it's literally, you can literally build on top of this, which is pretty crazy. This is literally a base demo. All that we can do is just say, uh, make me a magic RPG dragon. So boom, as you guys can see, I got the dragon right here. I got the sword, holy bro, look at this sword. And the dragon fires off like fireballs, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is insane. And it has an HP bar, everything. Oh my goodness, you have parrying, literally. This is insane, bro. This is literally like Roblox Deep Woken, bro. All right, boys, so I just basically gave it a prompt. So can you make me a parkour obby obstacle core that I have to pass and beat the level with spikes if I fall? platforms i can jump on the completed with trampolines and now this is what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to make it similar to roblox obby to show you guys that you know the potential of this is actually crazy if they do end up making a lot more updates which i'm i'm hoping they will um with this astrocade you know the platform can really do uh big things especially you know since you don't have to have a big entry in coding and you can just type things to make things i have never seen something similar though which I don't know, should they like bring this to like Roblox or something? I don't think they will, but honestly, this is a much easier way to enter and make in games. And as you guys can see, it's literally making us all the models. So you don't need to hire a modeler or anything. Uh, your wish is almost granted. They write up the code and there we go. Everything is made. There we go, play. And now we're on top of these. Oh my goodness, bro. There we go, whoo, there we go. Level complete, there we go. As you can see, they also have a win feature and you can play it. It's pretty, pretty cool. And it reminds me of the Roblox hobbies. Now, honestly, this does mean a lot for the future, even though Astrocade is still like in demo. And I do hope like a, a lot more stuff like this happens. So a lot of people can have easier approach into making games instead of, you know, just learning how to code or like, you know, having a bunch of money that you need to throw in order for, you know, uh, stuff to be made. You can just go ahead and create it with prompts and, you know, it makes you the whole game. So it's pretty crazy. It's a visual creation instead of, you know, just rough coding, which is pretty nice and a very refreshing uh, tone added 
to the game development space. So yeah, definitely check these guys out. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to do check these guys out uh, because I, I like their mission and I think this can have a very positive impact in just the game development industry overall. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to not miss these crazy news that I'm bringing you guys with the other stuff that I also covered. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.